Hi, Paul and Harry here from Trek It. We've come out on this stunningly beautiful day. We're perched on the eastern edge of the Black Mountains below the Black Darren and the Red Darren. Uh, we come to talk to you about Mountain Equipment's Earth range, Earthrise range of sleeping bags. Now I'm gonna cover in the video kind of the range generally covering all the shared features. But just so you know, we stock the bag in a couple of different weights and lengths, and we also do women's. So Harry will put a link up here as usual, so you can go to the website and have a look at the entire range. But everything I talk about in the video basically covers the range as a whole. So what is Earth Rise? Well, the, the kind of the, the clues in the name, it's a, it's a first for mounted equipment. They've produced a range of bags that are made virtually from 100% uh, recycled materials. Uh, so the, both the, the filling, the natural down feather filling, uh, the outer fabric and the inner fabric are all 100% recycled material. So this bag has got fantastic environmental credentials. But the main thing for you, for you guys, your end users, they actually perform superbly as well. So you get the best of both worlds. You get that great environmental, sustainable uh, message, but you also get a high spec, top performing sleeping bag that you can trust and rely on when you're out and about doing your adventures like we are in the mountains. Okay, so let's talk about what these bags are made from. So the, the most important thing about any sleeping bag is the insulation. So mountain equipment have used, like I said earlier, 100% recycled down and feather mix. Now all this, all this natural uh, insulation comes from post-consumer waste. So basically, uh, you know, waste bedding, uh, duvets, pillows, things like that, old jackets that people have thrown away. Uh, and that is then collected, it is washed, it's sterilized, it's dried and it's sorted and uh, only the, the very best stuff that's left, the stuff that's got those fine down filaments that have a minimum of 650 fill power are used by mountain equipment. The rest will go back into consumer products, into bedding products, so there is very, very little waste and you're reusing products that would have ended up in landfill, which has always got to be a good thing. All this superb recycled down has fantastic environmental credentials. Not only, uh, like I said, does it come from uh, products that would normally end up in landfill, but the factory that sorts and washes and sterilizes the down prior to mountain equipment getting hold of it is solar powered. It has incredible water recycling facilities as well. So you know that this down is not only recycled, it's ethically produced, it's uh, sustainable, and it's basically cutting out uh, a lot of the farming uh, for down products. So you're actually reducing the uh, amount of carbon that's being used, and it has a massive effect on the environmental chain of processes that go through to making a product. So environmentally friendly, sustainable, 100% recycled, and also very, very high performance down. Like I said, mountain equipment, only use stuff that has a minimum of 650 fill power. So there's no compromise on performance at all. The outer fabric and the inner fabric of the Earthrise bags are all used from, uh, all made, sorry, from 100% uh, recycled fabrics as well. So there's a very tightly woven 20 denier uh, light ripstop material on the outside. It's lovely and soft to touch. Uh, it's really, it's really pliant and soft, comfortable. It's windproof, it's highly breathable, but more importantly, it's downproof. So you don't, you get minimal, absolute minimal down leakage here. Uh, stops, keeps all that down inside the bag really nicely. And then on the inside, you get a softer, lighter fabric. Uh, again, really comfortable, breathable, uh, quick drying, makes the bag really comfortable, but more importantly, allows the bag to scrunch up really small so you get an excellent pack size with these 100% uh, recycled materials. Right, let's talk about uh, construction, uh, how this bag is put together and what keeps all the down in the right place to make sure you get optimum performance and warmth and insulation from this bag. Uh, this bit's gonna get quite geeky and quite techy, so if you wanna skip over it, that's fine, I won't be offended. All the details will be on our website anyway. So first of all, uh, it uh, uses slanted uh, box wall construction. So that basically means that these uh, channels that you can see on the outside here, they actually form like a box inside the sleeping bag and they're slanted to ensure that the down falls down to the inside of the bag to keep that next to you because that's what's trapping the warm air. The slanted construction all also minimizes the amount of weight. There's less box wall construction. 
and the lightweight stitch through onto the top here further reduces weight and enables better compression. You may notice on the, on the bag that the side seam where the zip is, is not in the middle of the bag. It's lifted up further away. Basically that means when you're lying in the bag on your back or on your side, uh, depending how you sleep, the zip is lifted up further from the floor, reducing the possibility of cold spots or this, this area lying against the floor and being cold. It's, it's really clever. Uh, it's a simple thing, but it just moves that kind of side seam up away from the floor. And what they've also done is they've optimized the fill. So uh, it's got, you know, this particular bag, this is the 400 series. This has got 385 grams of 650 fill power down in there. And they don't just kind of create all these baffles and just chuck it in willy nilly and just fill it all up and hope for the best. They've optimized the insulation. So the baffles at the bottom are tighter and slightly smaller, creating denser uh, sort of pockets of down because that's the area of the bag that gets the most compression underneath you. So the down needs to be in, in a denser area. And then over the top of the bag, the baffles are slightly roomier, allowing the down to loft to its full uh, capacity, creating that maximum insulation. Uh, now, if, for those who don't know, loft is basically uh, a, a measurement of how much one ounce of down, how many cubic square inches one ounce of down will fill. So this is a 650 loft, so one ounce of down from this bag would loft up, expand to fill 650 cubic inches, which is about a uh, 12 to 13 litre stuff sack size, kind of about that much space. So nice and lofty, and the more space the down fills up, the better the insulation, because that's how it works. Okay, moving on down to the bottom of the bag. You can see there's some quite interesting shapes on here. There's a V stitch here, there's a larger baffle here, and then there's a ring baffle here. This is all designed to optimize the warmth around your feet. You know, nobody likes cold feet when they're sleeping. And it's also anatomically shaped, so it's actually higher at the, at the bottom end than here to basically mimic your foot when you're lying flat on your back with your toes up in the air. That just gives you the room to, for your feet to sort of adopt a natural position. So they've maximized the warmth around that cold area of the body. Another prominent spot of the body that loses heat is the top of your head, particularly like me if you're follically challenged. So uh, mountain equipment have created a lovely um, sort of uh, anatomically shaped hood using five baffles around the hood area to create this shape that molds around your head to ensure that the down gives you complete coverage and just traps all that warmth that's escaping out the top of your head. And it's, it's quite a common thing I hear, uh, particularly in the shop, talking to customers, they say, oh, I was cold in my sleeping bag at night. Well, did you have the hood done up? It's a very simple thing. The best way to stay warm in a sleeping bag is to get it closed up as tightly around you to stop all that warm air escaping. Okay, following on from construction, we, we move into features. Now, some of these features are really part of the construction, but they're worth pointing out on their own. Uh, the first one is the uh, Gemini uh, construction here behind the zip. It's, it's a double overlaying uh, anti-snag zip baffle that combines together to ensure you don't get that cold spot around the zip. Um, it's fully insulated on this side and slightly stiffened, so it avoids getting caught in the teeth. and means you can do the zip up nice and easily. Hey presto, without the zip catching in those baffles. And because they overlap once they're inside the bag, it eliminates that cold spot, any cold air or you know, drafts coming in through the zip. Right up at the top of the bag is, is a large insulated draft collar or neck collar or neck baffle, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and this acts again to seal that warmth inside the bag around your shoulders. It's like, kind of like pulling the duvet around your shoulders when you're cold. It, it works exactly the same way to trap the warmth. And it's got a really neat little closure. It's a thing called a load lock. Uh, and basically, it's a cross between a kind of a mechanical press stud and a magnet. So it's very easy to locate, nice and secure once it's there. But if you do need to get out in a panic, you can just pull it apart and the bag opens up nice and easily. It's a really nice little feature. It's a good thing. Uh, it just makes the bag safer to use for you in an emergency, uh, but also keeps that warmth sealed in around the top of the neck. That's also got uh, a nice, easy to find draw cord, single hand pull on that to really tighten it up, lock all that warmth in around the top of your shoulders. Okay, the final features that uh, you get with these lovely Earthrise bags is you get a couple of bags. Okay, so you get a lovely waterproof stuff sack. Uh, it acts like a you know, standard roll top dry bag, uh, fully tape seamed, completely waterproof. 
and this is what you carry the bag in when you're moving from site to site when you're on your travels and you also get uh, a packing cube which is the place to keep your sleeping bag when it's not being used it keeps it lofted and keeps it ready for use next time it's really important not to store your sleeping bag for long periods of time when it's not being used fully compressed inside this bag the more down gets compressed and the longer it's held in that compressed state the less likely it will be able to loft to its full potential so store it loose in this storage cube you get one with the bag so why not use it it just makes sense and it prolongs the life of your sleeping bag So how does the sleeping bag fit? Well, normally we do this section in our clothing videos and you might be uh, you know, wondering why we do it in the sleeping bags as well, but mountain equipment do a range of different fits across their sleeping bags, depending on the intended use. And because this is a technical, lightweight, highly compressible and warm sleeping bag, it gets their Alpine fit, which basically means it's more tapered, narrows down around the hips into the legs, and that is designed to keep the down as close to your body as is possible to maximize the warmth and insulation. Obviously, it also cuts down a little bit on the, on the amount of sleeping bag there is, so it cuts down on the weight and makes the pack size fantastic. Okay, so that's the mountain equipment Earthrise sleeping bags. Uh, who are they for? Well, they're for anybody uh, who cares about ethical sourcing and sustainability and who still wants to get a high performance, quality, lightweight, small pack size sleeping bag. And to be honest, why wouldn't you want the best of both? Why wouldn't you want to buy a product that is 100% recycled, is ethically sourced and fantastically sustainable? We've been really impressed with the construction and the attention to detail, the technicality of this bag, whilst it's still having that fantastic recycled, sustainable story. Uh, we hope you like them too. It's quite a, a movement that uh, Mount Equipment are starting here and we really hope you get on board and uh, support them in their endeavours to make sure that this industry helps our environment so we can continue to come out and enjoy such beautiful places in comfort, in warmth, uh, without damaging it. So uh, I'm going to say cheerio. Um, we've got the tent up. I'm um, going to do some other little shots, how to do some stuff. If you want uh, to know some more information about these bags, please follow the link. Harry will uh, put a link up, take you through to the entire range. Uh, and as usual, if you have any comments or questions, please pop them in the section below. It's always great to hear from you guys. It uh, makes us feel like this is all worthwhile. And if you like our videos, please subscribe. Uh, you'll get notifications when any new ones arrive. So this is me signing off. Uh, see you again next time. Toodaloo.